Hi, my name is Anas Bowen. I would like to invite you into my breeding nursery of cereals. Uh, I do a, a, a organic a breeding of cereals in this uh, garden of mine. Uh, and I'd like to show you around what I have here. Um, the first, what we see here is oat. Um, see, oat is a very healthy variety because actually not too many people are growing oats, so the pression, pressure for, for diseases is not so high. Uh, however, we do see some, some aphids here, yeah? some aphids. Uh, but except for that, we don't have so many diseases in oat. Um, this is a collection of old uh, varieties from Nordic Gene Bank. Uh, I'm looking here for a, a black seeded oat and a naked oat. Over there you also see some old varieties of, of barley, also from Nordic Gene Bank. Um, <clears throat> I also do crossings. This is crossings of um, uh, spring wheat. You see a diversity because different types have been crossed in this. This is an F2, so there's still a huge diversity within the crop. Um, and in this program I'm looking for uh, uh, purple, uh, purple seeded wheat, but also developing a new, uh, new, new, new varieties. Naked barley, quite nice, healthy, uh, but not all types are healthy, of course. We hear some quite susceptible to, to mildew, <coughs> very early variety, um, but spring still it is spring types. Uh, we see here um, uh, the colors, um, and, it, and this. Strange hits, isn't it? Um, and here, look at the colors here. This is also naked oh, na naked barley. Um, in the next section here, I do crossings of uh, winter wheat. Um, I have a program here where I do crossings of 30 different uh, varieties of yeah, of winter wheat. All varieties have some degree of resistance to common bonds. And then I cross the different varieties with each other uh, and will develop a population with bond resistance. Uh, uh, winter oat is not too common in Denmark, Northern Europe. Uh, but here I try see also the, all the aphids. Uh, but here I will uh, intercross the winter oat varieties and hope to develop a population that can stand the North European winter. Um, here I have some um, winter wheat varieties from the Vavilov Institute. Some of them are quite tall as you see over there. Um, but still they are quite healthy, I think. Don't see any diseases here. Uh, and no lodging. Uh, this one is Triticum uh, Araraticum, a white type of tetrachloid wheat. Um, Triticum Timotherii, uh, also quite healthy. Um, here we have uh, perennial wheat. That means that we, we can harvest on the same crop for, for consecutive years. Um, if we look at the, at the bottom here, we can see that the small tillers are coming up. Uh, so the Big plants will be harvested this year, and then small plants here will be harvested next year. Next year, maybe new tillers will come, so we can harvest for consecutive years in the same crop. 
at least that is what I hope for. Um, here is, is rye. Uh, it's rather tall, about two meters. Um, but a healthy crop and also no lodging so far. Um, here I, I collect brown seeds of rye, which were the original Danish type of rye. We can go through the rye and we'll enter the, um, the infected garden. This, this um, here is a lot of, you see all the signs here, uh, a lot of different uh, varieties, 128 different varieties of uh, spelt and also some emma. This is emma wheat. Um, and I have infected all of them with common bunt um, to see if they are susceptible or resistant. See, this is uh, a maca spelt. Um, this is a healthy one, and this is infected. We see into the, if we see the seeds here. In the, in, except instead of seed, we have just black fungal spores inside, and they stink like rotten fish. Uh, so this is quite a nasty disease, and we hope to find resistance to this disease in, in this experiment. Um, I also have an experiment here uh, where I um, treat the infected uh, seed with um, steam and ultrasound. So this is not a breathing experiment, but uh, a treatment experiment. And over here is another small garden uh, where I test different things. First thing here is the sweet uh, maize. Uh, try to find uh, colored seeded sweet sweet corn. Um, and there are some strange varieties over there. This is uh, Triticum paloskivi. Uh, pit Triticum Petropelowski and this one is Triticum militine. Um, here is, uh, is millet. Um, this is Cetaria and this this one is um, a Panicum millet. So I just think about 100 different varieties to find varieties that are that will mature early enough to be harvested in the Danish climate. In this experiment uh, I, I test how the winter wheat and winter spelt varieties perform when they are grown in the spring. And we see actually that there are some a few lines that will give, give tiller, tillers even they have been sown in the spring. So these can be used also as spring wheat. Uh, the biggest problem in durum wheat is that most of the rises are very short. Uh, but here we have found some populations from Algeria and France. Um, and some of them look actually quite nice. Maybe we can grow these varieties in Denmark. Durum wheat is not apart from that grown in, in Denmark. And this is how my nursery looks like. I hope you have enjoyed the tour and we'll come back some other time. Goodbye.